Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Bloss and I'm the liaison librarian for the College of Allied Health Sciences. I'm just going to do a short video today on how to use RefWorks Write in Sight feature. So I'll explain to you a little bit more what that is. So first, in order to get to RefWorks, you have to go through our website, um, hsl.ecu.edu, which I'm already on. And scroll down, and if you're using RefWorks and you don't have a legacy account, you're going to click RefWorks New Interface. So let me go ahead and log in quickly. You'll just use your ECU email and the password. If you've never used RefWorks before, you'll use this Create Account button and it'll check your ECU email. In my case, I already have an account, so I can just log in. Okay, so now I'm in RefWorks. I can see all my references here. My folders are on the left-hand side. So let's say I'm writing a paper about this uh, dental topic here. So first, in order to get your RefWorks to work directly in Microsoft Word, you have to go up to Tools here, and then you'll hit Tools again, which I know is very counterintuitive, but that's the way they've set it up. So Tools, Tools. Okay, so there's a couple things that you can install here. The first is that there's a Save to RefWorks button. This will actually go into your browser and work a lot the same way that like the Pinterest button would work. So that's an option that you can install directly into your browser. Um, I don't have it installed at this time, but that's an option. Or no, I do. It's right there. So that's an option for you if you want to immediately save things into RefWorks. But if you want to use RefWorks with your Microsoft Word, you have to come down here to where it says Write in Sight and then do Download and Install. This is an Office 32-bit version, so if you have a 64-bit machine or a Mac, you'll have to click on other Windows and Mac versions. But the install is pretty quick. It'll download to your computer. Um, if you're using Chrome, the download will pop up right here. You click on it and you hit Install. So then when you go into your Microsoft Word, you should see it then. So here's my document, and now I have this RefWorks tab in my ribbon at the top. So let's go to Insert Citation, and I'll do Insert New Citation. And then I can go straight to my dental folder here, and I can see all of my different ones. Um, the first time that you use this, you'll have to log in using your same ECU email and password that you use for RefWorks in order to make sure that, um, that you're getting the citations. We can also do sync my database so that it'll make sure that the same citations, we can find them in here. So now you see I have my HSIM folder if I wanted to cite from that one. Okay, so let's start I'll say this is my sentence and then I instead of going ahead and just you know putting my author last name and year like I would in APA style for my in-text citation I go up here to insert citation insert new and then because I've synced my database and all of my reference folders are now here from RefWorks so I can go to HSIM select my reference that I want to use and click OK. And then that's going to put my in-text citation right there. So you'll notice no bibliography has started yet. So let's go to my next sentence. So you can put the period at the end of your sentence. Oops, let's go back and insert that one again. And then the ones you frequently used will also show up right here in this box as well. So every time you need to cite one of those people, you can just go back to insert citation my second sentence and then let's say I need to do another citation insert new go back to my HSIM folder and this time I'm gonna pick this one and it puts the people's names there in the year. once you've gone to the end of your paper you will hit bibliography options insert bibliography and it should insert in 
APA 6 edition style. So as of now, um, there is a version of APA 7th edition, but I'm still looking at the one in RefWorks that says 6th edition. Um, we could go select other style, and then you can look at other styles that you need. You could also change it to AMA, for example, and it'll change your bibliography immediately to the other style that you've selected. So it's really nice, especially if you're writing a longer paper. Um, I would recommend doing something like this and using this write in sight option. So that's how to do it. Remember that you go to the library website here, click on RefWorks New Interface in order to start a RefWorks account. Once you are in your RefWorks account, um, I'll just go back to the front of the page just so you can see again. You'll click this Tools button, hit Tools here, and then do Download and Install Write in Sight. There's also these other versions here, so you can pick which one is right for your machine. If you're not sure if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, um, you can go into the About information about your computer and see here's the instruction right here. Go to File, Account, About Word, and it'll tell you exactly what version that you need to install. Once it's installed, you should see the RefWorks ribbon at the top, and then this is where you can insert your citations and insert your bibliography. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, my information is on the website here under About Us. And if you go to Our Librarians, click Find a Librarian, and then there's my information right there. So my phone number, my email, and if you are ever on campus, you're always welcome to stop in and say hello. So thank you again for watching, and have a great day.